We've made it through the top 32 and top 16 at round one of Drift Indie Street League. If you missed the recap, make sure to check them out. But for now, we're jumping into the top eight here at Kill Care Raceway. First battle on the line for top eight was Cornwell and Medina. Cornwell was our number one qualifier and Medina was on quite the tear through qualifying and has been battling his way through to the top eight. Qualifying first allowed Cornwell to lead first in battle and qualifying ninth had Medina chasing first. Cornwell began his run with his signature flick, allowing his car up nice and high on the bank, keeping that high line and staying wide on entry. He kept the momentum up through outer zone number one and Medina was right with him through the infield, doing a great job staying close in chase and mirroring his line. Cornwell brought the momentum into the bank wall, getting nice and high, but Medina was right with him through the wall. Cornwell pulled away slightly, exiting the bank, but checked up to grab outer zone number two, allowing Medina to get back on him through that zone and across the finish. It was a great first lap all around, and you could tell the drivers were stoked on it as well. Back on the line, this time Medina was in the lead, tossing his car into the wall with a ton of speed and stayed wide on entry. Cornwell hung back a bit and Medina used his momentum through outer zone number one. Medina poured on the angle for that inner clip while Cornwell caught up in that center section. Medina caught some dirt when he transitioned out of the infield and onto the wall. It did not appear to affect him and that high line allowed Cornwell to get back on his door in the bank. Medina kept his speed up for outer zone number two with a small correction before he crossed the line. And the judges decided they wanted to see that battle again, so they sent both drivers back to the grid for a one more time. Cornwell gave us an even more aggressive lead, getting so high on the wall that he made contact, losing a bumper and a taillight. Medina was more careful in the chase position, giving him some room on entry and outer zone one. The hit did not seem to affect Cornwell's line and Medina was able to catch up in the center section. Cornwell brought a ton of speed into the bank, running a high line and keeping speed up to outer zone two, and Medina was back on his door as they crossed the finish. Medina flicked equally as high on his lead run, mimicking Cornwell's aggressive lead and getting super deep in outer zone one. Cornwell stuck with him through the center section and Medina ran an equally high line on the bank, looking extremely smooth as he transitioned off the bank and back into the infield. Cornwell was right with him, adding a ton of pressure in outer zone number two, finishing the run glued to Medina's door. Both drivers were tapping their cars, showing us they were stoked on those battles, but Cornwell's aggression earned him the win, moving him on to the finals. Next battle in our top eight was Clark and Outcult. Clark qualifying fourth, led first, and Outcult qualifying fifth was in the chase position. Clark started high on entry and Outcult was right with him the entire time, transitioning simultaneously as they entered into outer zone one. Clark was picking up speed in the center section on a smooth and high line up to the bank wall, but Outcult was inches from him the entire time, even as they transitioned off the bank and back to outer zone two. Clark did a great job keeping pace and allowed out call possibly the best chase run we saw all day. In the lead, Outcult kept up the aggression, flicking his car high on entry. He was on a bit shallower of a line on entry where Clark fell back and Outcult did not go quite as deep as we would have liked him in outer zone one. Outcult kept his speed up through the center section, pulling away from Clark onto the bank and gained more coming back off of it. Clark continued to drop back, going in outer zone two, unable to keep pace as they crossed the line. Outcult earned the win, some say on that chase alone, and moved on to the finals. Finally, we have the highly anticipated Miata on Miata battle. On the line, we had two white Miatas, the 369 of Edmondson and the 24 of Walters. Edmondson tossed his Miata in early, but cut the proper line a bit, not setting himself up well for outer zone number one. Walters cuts the line as well, using that to get back with Edmondson as they came to the inner clip. Edmondson brought a ton of speed as he exited the infield up to the bank, keeping his speed up to outer zone number two, and Walters fell back slightly in chase.
on his lead. Walters entered with a ton of angle, allowing Edmiston to get close to him on entry and outer zone number one. Walters then picked up speed coming across that inner clip, pulling away from Edmiston as they made their way through the infield and up onto the bank. Walters was moving quickly through the bank turn and Edmiston dropped a bit lower on the bank in order to get closer to Walters. Both Miatas transitioned simultaneously as they come to outer zone number two, Edmiston pouring on the angle as they cross the finish. And with that, Walters pulled off an upset and moved on to the finals, rounding out our top eight battles here at Drift Indy Street League round one.